so now after filtering the data okay i want to sort the records okay if you want to can directly use it or okay now also if you click one more thing you can notice on what are the columns used in the filter component right now there are two columns used okay to apply filter that's why the mark also you can see okay so now So this time when I'm reading the data, I want to sort. <coughs> okay, so I can directly use this sort and then link, or you can also combine with filter and sort. Means I'm just explaining. Means it is not only always mandatory that we'll be using only sort here. Okay, or if you already have some filter after that if you want to keep also you can combine all the logics at a time so now this time i'll take the filter and in this filter i'm keeping some logic okay then i want to sort the data okay i want to apply filter and then sort the data so this time i'm going to use sort component here Again, when I drag a column, when I drag a link from here to here, if you see filter, if you click on the filter component, you will not find out any columns in this component. Okay, it is just only properties. Means, so these properties are directly applied over on this particular table or in this particular left side comp, whatever object you have. These kind of components are called non-projected components. Okay, what is non-projected components means when you link from the left to the right side, okay, your columns are not getting projected to right side. It is like graphically we have an object here, but it is directly applying here. So it is only for our convenience to apply a filter, it is here, but this is directly applied over here, and that's why you will not see any properties or anything over here. It is just condition. So this condition is applying on here. So these kind of components are called non-projected components because it is it is not projecting any components from the left side to right side. Okay, the same way after filter. Okay, now this time I am going to link to this output of the filter to right side. Again, whenever I link from here to here, it is not popping up anything per column. Again, this is also non-projected component. So non-projected components are not going to inherit columns from the left to right side. It will be straight. So when I go here, filter, when I click on this condition, it will show the properties of this one only, EMP only. Fine. I put a filter. After filter, I'm taking this to the sort. Sort what it does, sort the name itself, it will sort the data. And technically, what is that? Order by. Okay, so when I click on sort, again, okay, left side connection, right side connections in the, uh, you can see in a connector, general, normal, okay, but when you go to sorter condition, you still see, what do we have here, what is before sort, we have a filter, what is before filter, so right side, if you see, it is not showing you any filter here. It will not show up any non-projected component. Non-projected components are only visible due to graphical, okay, because you are developing something, but everything will be applied on this particular column only here. Okay, that's why still it will show. When you put a filter, it will be applied over here, and even when I keep, I keep a sort, it will be applied over here as a whole together. Okay, so now I am just going to create a sort. Sort on which column I want to sort on. 
let's say uh, employee number. First, we'll see that. Okay, here is the filter and here is the, so if you know Oracle, just typing them only here, that's all. Okay, it's just helping you to do in a graphical. And this I want to load to this target. So now when I link from here to here, okay, so since it is going to be your final target, so then it is asking, it is not asking to link from sort or it is not going to, it is not asking to link from filter, it is asking to link from your main, okay, whatever source is there from here to here directly link. So I am just choosing that. So now if you see this, all these components whatever I use so far all non-projected components, source and target in between all are just like objects. You put some filter that's all. As usual for this target you use control append and then go to physical, you can see filter, sort and then choose the knowledge module. So these are all same thing I am going to repeat. You can choose SQL insert or whatever it is because I am not worried about the knowledge modules right now. So I just want to. After end, okay, we'll see in ODI 11 how this uh, design used to be. Okay, right now what are we doing? After all these components, we can see how this supposed to happen in the 11. You can see star from here where salary is greater than zero and order by employee number descending. If it is other tool, I need to go and see the output. But in this case, by looking at this scale, I can confirm you whether your logic is popular, properly done. Or because we have the where condition. If your scale having all of them, then it is done. Okay. So that's why I don't need to check in the table every time. But in other cases, other tools, I need to go and check because they are not going to execute the uh, logics based on the SQL. Only reading time it will execute SQL and then data comes to ETL server and then the data process there and then finally load. In between anything can happen. So I cannot see a single SQL. But here is a single SQL. Because both tables are in same database so I can change and then load here. Insert into this and to select star from this. So where condition and then order by. So if you want to order by and two columns, okay, still it is possible. You can just go here. Let's say order by employee number descending, comma, okay, salary ascending. You can just say salary ascending. Just example. So this way you can go and keep any kind of where condition, uh, order by classes if you want. 